watching World Inside with me, Tian Wei, coming to you Monday to Friday on CGTN. Everyone has his or her choice to live as their heart tells them, to be true to who they are. On the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, I caught up close and personal with a special person who chose to follow her heart no matter the odds. She went through a sex reassignment operation in the year 1995 to become a woman. This was unimaginable at that time and raised a whole of controversy. But because of her personal charisma, she won the hearts of many. She is not only an artist, but also a host, a drama performer, and the mother of three adopted children. Among the snowy mountains in Davos, she tells me her personal story and her career as well. Before we go to the interview, take a look at this. She puts on many hats as a mentor, drama performer, and host. But of all these, Jin Ching identifies most as a dancer. She takes pride and confidence in showing the grace of a seasoned performer on the floor. In her mind, dancing is her passion and profession. Jin Ching is one of China's most prominent modern dancers. She is the pioneer of the modern Chinese dance and went on to win many international awards. In 1999, she founded the Jinxing Dance Troupe, which is the first private modern dance group in China. She not only served as a choreographer of the dance troupe, but also as the lead performer. For more than a decade, the Jinxing Dance Troupe promoted and popularized modern dance. In 1995, Jinxing had a sex reassignment operation, which drew great controversy. But she was unfazed and kept her eye on her art. Besides dancing, she worked as a host and a drama performer. The TV show she once hosted was very popular in China. Her new drama, The Father, which also starred Zhao Lixin, was just recently released. Now she's relishing a new role as the mother of three adopted children as she turns a new leaf in life. From the single woman become a three children's mother, that's a big change for me. Actually, completely changing my concept, vision of life. How? Because before I was a single lady, enjoy my life and enjoy the stage, the ballerina, the success, the fame, the 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 you know the tension. But somehow, when the new three life come to my life, bring me down to the earth and tell you have a beautiful your private time on stage, but the real life like this. That's mm -hmm. beautiful change. That's a beautiful change and also very different personalities Yes, in two different lives. I think so. I, I did. I never expecting I become a mother. That's I, for me as a, as a life gift to me. Mm -hmm. I become a three children's mother and to take a responsibility for the three innocent life. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. gift. So completely changing my vision of life really. But I understand that raising three children is not an easy task. Yes, I it's think I learned that. They you adopt the three of them. I adopt the three children, mm -hmm. yes. But, you know, for China, adoption is still not necessarily a very common thing. Very difficult. I think the mentality of Chinese society is still individual family orientated, adopting another, no blood connections. Mm -hmm. People, they always feel you give a lot, then you don't get any return back. That's the Chinese mentality. But for me, I want to be myself. What I didn't know, I become mother of mm -hmm. a three. Then I said, this is such a gift. I only take the responsibility. I didn't expect anything return back. For me, it's very open to another dimension of life. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot from how I raised the three children, teaching me a lot about the real life. Like what? Compromising. <laughs> Before I was a single diva on stage, I, everybody looked at me. I don't yeah. need a compromising. But uh, become a mother of three, you need a compromise. You need to swallow a lot of un. <laughs> a difficult things, then it's swollen and digested. Mm. They always bring the beautiful mm. smile to the children, mm. let them know life continue go on, tomorrow right. will be better. Yeah. Are you a responsible mother or what? <laughs> I do, but I was the tough mother. I see. In my family, I was tough. The, uh, love? Yeah, tough love. I, I give her kids a lot of you know, rules. Mm. Yes, some certain things I give a lot of space, but certain times they need to respect the rules. Right. You always, can I say that? volunteer to put yourself into the most difficult situations. Yes, yes, you can Let's say that. Let's just start from the sexual transmission 
operation. Yes. You did something nobody else is there to come out and say. Yes. It was so rare in China. Yeah. Even today. How did you have the gut to do it? I think I have a full of respect for myself for this life. Because I know life will put me in different situations, but do I have the guts to correct it, to become truly myself, mm -hmm. from my soul, from my mind, from my body, everything? Then I said, if I have the guts, also I have the right to receive the gift from life. Mm -hmm. So for this gift, I can sacrifice a lot. You are your own little world, right? You create all these positive energy around yourself, I trying think, to think in the most positive I way. I think so. Even I facing my enemies who somebody hate me on the, you know, want to fight with me. But I see the positive side. Why he want to fight with me? Mm. What he gain? What he? I'm losing. If I fight with him, even I'm lost. I gain the experience. Of why I'm weak this this part? Mm. I always see the positive side. So I never face afraid of any challenge. Maybe also part of my education. You could say that easily today. But at the time when you just had the operation, it's not the same thing. Not the same thing. When you I went through hell. I know. But when I'm out of the hospital, the minutes, whole society, whole the people ex turn against you. Turn against me. And always back then I said, OK, just give me some time. I'll be proved my independent individual choice deserve equal respect. Just give me time. I'm still the beautiful dancer on stage. I'm still the true person. I didn't change my name. Mm -hmm. so. Just give me time. And people turning around, turning around, turning around, and gave him the smile, gave me a big hug. Mm. That's giving me more confidence to mm. so facing all the challenges. But how did you went through every stage of it? Particularly, you know, after the operation, the pain itself, and also the prejudice against you. Yeah. It's not just one day they would change their attitude. Yeah. And sometimes you have to be in a way, in a comfort zone, so that you know that even though you're alone, you can be with yourself. Yes. But how could that happen? It just do not come naturally. No, no, I don't no. Believe so. No, no, it's not come naturally. Your actual life will teach you, told you how to become that. I sound I, like a philosopher today. No, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> life like yes, exactly. Then, no, I'm when I've been through a terrible time. Mm. I also like uh, normal people. I'm crying. I just like a uh, whole my body sucking with all the any energy. Mm front of my eyes, I can believe no hope, no vision. But I always thinking, okay, this is not the end of the world. Mm. If don't How did you know? I, if I'm still breathing, next morning I'm still wake up. That means I still have the chance. Mm. So, okay, what can that be? Some people may be better than you. Some people may be worse than me. But it's okay, everybody taking their life. Mm. You made your choice. Why you complain? Mm. Nobody forced you to change your sex. Right. At that point, were you gradually realizing all of these things that you're telling me? Yes, that uh, I've learned that because of the, you are the unique one, mm. you have to go to unique tunnel to get all your uh, unique experience. Then you become the unique, the only Jinxing. Mm. Without this experience, you are just like other ordinary. No, you want to be special, you need a special treatment. The community of LGBT in China yeah. is still something that is very controversial in the society. Yes. 20 years ago, when you went through the operation, your father was one that is mm. definitely against it. But now, do you think 20 years later, those who have similar fate as you do mm -hmm. would experience the same thing? I think the situation is getting better. But of course, 20 years ago, when I done that, not that many cases, not that many reference people to knowledge about these issues. Now people have a much more awareness about the LGBT group and the minority of decision choices. I think now it's slowly growing up, popping up. That's also bring a lot of society tension to it. It's mm. In a way, it's good. In a way, also difficult. Mm. Mm. A lot of attention, yes, is paying to the LGBT yeah. community. Is it mainly curiosity? You know, about something that's different from us? Yes. Or is it a willingness to be together with that community? No, I think a lot of the curiosity, also the prejudice as well. But I think you have to, before the environment become a very healthy environment, suitable environment, I think you have to sure yourself, make the right choices. Don't confuse with yourself. Always confidence with who you are. Mm -hmm. This is most important. Then you turn into the positive attitude, turn into a society, the mm. environment you're living in. Mm. Yeah. But Chinese culture traditionally used to be quite inclusive, yeah. including to the LGBT community. Yes. In our yeah. ancient, uh, uh, for example, novels, there yes. were some mm. description of that. Yeah. So 
What about now? Have we changed, or do you think things will come back? Maybe we'll be once again more inclusive than we than we are today. I think so because China opened for 30 years for the economic sense of open to the whole world, showing the real China. But at the same time, we have imported a lot of idea of Western concept. Mm. For example, everything become liberalized. Everything the group were labelized, everything put people in the category. I think why don't you just leave it? Let it be. Let people choosing. I want this group. I maybe I want after a few years I want to change this group. Let them be free to be themselves. Right. I think that's part of the Chinese cultural, ancient culture. We do have that space for people. Some certain things we don't want to talk about it. Just mm. let it be. That's part of China. Not like a Western country. Everything put on the table one by one. Yeah. Make, that's so, so that means even though China do not have legislations mm. to so-called in a way give the legal status of the LGBT yeah. community, mm. but in a way it is sitting through it peacefully. Of, of course. Is of that course. what you meant? Exactly. That's I think in my case, people always think, why don't you do more for the LGBT group? I think I'm. Myself in China, what I'm doing to everything already big statement mm. for the group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also on the issue of LGBT community, yeah. you once said, "Thank you if you understand me. Yes. Mm. It's okay if you don't." Yes. Well, it's easier said than done, isn't it? Yes, not easy to say that. You know, requires a lot of confidence to say out that words. I think before I make my decision choices in my case. I did ask if society, everything's ready for me. I said I make myself the best mm -hmm. and use my personal driven existing attitude, changing your attitude, maybe your disunderstanding, maybe discrimination, everything. I accept it, but give me some time, mm -hmm. then I'll be changing your opinions. That's I think the positive image, sure of yourself, is mm -hmm. most important instead of asking all the environment ready for you. Yeah. Is this issue still important to you at all? No, I don't think that it, because I got a lot of confidence from my children. You know, my existing China, everything positive reaps feedback and the negative feedback, everything I receive from my Weibo. Even my children, they are old enough to get in the Weibo. The criticism about their mother, they can get it every day. But more <laughs> my children coming back. One day, I remember clearly on the TV, they announced my name, the world known Chinese. Uh, transgender modern dancer and the kids look at the TV so they, they are so pathetic mom <laughs> I said why you say that they couldn't get over this right yes it's, then I, I look at my children 11 years old can say that word give me big comfort and confidence they are great kids yeah wonderful. I have to say they're great yeah kids. wonderful it, there has to be a mother behind them that could Thank be you. these kind of kids and even the classmate asked that say do you know your mother was a transgender they said so what she's still my mom great yes. wow then I said, yeah, then I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's, I think, because I want to be a stronger yeah. and much more, you know, yeah. you say that I'm doing a lot of things. Sometimes the society could be very crucial. Mm. I wanted to grow up, they are proud of their mother. Instead of they become, you know, yeah. one of two or two against them. Mm -hmm. So That's why I think I tried my best. Yeah. And she is trying her best. Recently, Jin Xin was busy with her new drama, The Father. She's been busy as a choreographer, TV host, program judge, drama performer, and dancer. I asked her how she managed to juggle all these roles at the same time. You went from modern dance to TV host. Yes. <laughs> and now you take a new challenge to act on the stage. Yes. So one after another, why? The curiosity drove me to ch take the challenge and challenging myself. It's not challenging other people, challenging myself. Mm. And after I overcome, then again, from the experience for life. That's why I always uh, have quite a positive attitude turning to life. After that, anything yes. wouldn't be a problem. Yes, no problem. I think of coming and go and taking and giving, and everything's normal, just how I'm dealing with that. Mm. And I think uh, also, a people, if they know, they never met me in person, they have a different idea about the Jinxing, you know, the wandering around. But when they meet me, the, my eyes, the truly look and the way I talk, mm. people say, this is true person. Mm. That's I think convince people, convince society. That's why I become a dancer, can be a TV host, have mm -hmm. such a popular TV talk shows. People, they feel that the mm -hmm. person talk with their heart. Mm -hmm. It's not like just grabbing some tests, saying out. It's I really, everything through my heart. You know, every profession you took on, from a contemporary dancer yes. to a TV talk show host, yes. 
scrutinizing some of the most well-known person yeah. in today's world, yeah. particularly in China. Yeah. None of this is done easily. You have to go through a negotiation process. You have to negotiate yeah. with the rest of the country rest of the world, and yeah. the rest of the environment. I exactly, guess. environment. So that's another kind. It's not like the pain of the operation. No, 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 no. It's not like dragging yourself out of the hell. No, a lot of us psychologically being strong and determined. <laughs> and the, the Tell me more about that. No, because I think a whole my life training before 28 years, 30 years of dancing on stage with all the world, my body language already training me in the perfect expression. Then transfer to oral language of communications, my eyes, my expression, my body language tells what my mean about it. Art of the communication, I think I fully in my hands, I got this tool. Then communicate with people and never forget your truly heart. That's even I talk with all the celebrities, I'm just deep dealing with the matter, Let's never take a personal. I'm not against the person sitting next to me. It's about the matter, the yeah. issue I'm not agree with. In your dance expressions, you are direct. Yes. You want to say it with strength yeah. and also with a lot of uniqueness. Yeah. In your talk show, mm. you are more than direct. Yes, 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 yes. You ask some of the toughest questions yes. to the celebrities. Yes. And as a result, you might offend one or two, or even the group. Yes, yes, of course, there are fans, there are groups sometimes, but they know my motivation is that there. It's not targeting people, make people uneasy. I don't get any benefit. I don't get any happy of that. Mm. i just talking about the issue I'm dealing with. I want to get the opinion. The great show on TV, I think for TV audience, is you have a program, you have a platform, you give your opinion, attitude, like the viewer, audience, to make a judgment. Mm. I think in this modern society, who going to teach whom? Who going to educate, except your parents educating you when you are young? But we do have the way to exchanging our view and opinion mm -hmm. through this platform. Then let me make audience make a judgment. Even I launching my Chinese dating show, everything is put there, let people make decisions. What kind of lives are you choosing? One of the reasons many people love watch some of your shows is because you talk directly, particularly you talk about women's issue very directly. Yeah. For example, you describe how men should improve themselves in yeah. order to keep up with the wonderful women these yes, days yes, who yes. have been progressing so much. Yes. And as a result, you might offend one half of the world. <laughs> so people think this is a person with a lot of guts. Have you been planning about this when you are saying this? Or it is just coming out very naturally? Actually coming out my naturally. Actually all my top topic in my talk show, I coming out with my experience, but I want to talk about it. And maybe I defend, Offend some 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 peoples, but for the new generation, right. they learn that from female point of view, the eyes we we wish you could be better, mm. better man, better for the everything. So in the good run, so I think people, when it's a tough word, but after the show they feel that okay, that's the right things. It is not always the smoothest times. No, no, not at all. No, no, no. In our life. Uh, when it comes to modern dance, yes. you went through some ups and downs. Yes. Whether performance could be held. Yes. And when it comes to other formats, yes. including TV shows and drama, probably mm -hmm. you will run into the very similar situation. Even my son said, don't you want to get angry? You should be you're fuming. I said, no, actually the perfect time, good, everything happened is good moment. Mm. Mommy need a little bit of rest and see the real audience, how they respond. Mm. They are really responding to my show. They like my show. Yeah. And also keep myself at a distance. After three years of run this, you know, all the topic, you need to refresh yourself. Then I said, perfect. Mm. That was a, I, oh, my, even my husband, even myself, club for me, so you get a mutual and mutual. I say, yes, I take things easy. That's Jin Sheng, a well-known modern dancer, choreographer, actress, and TV host. Before we go, I asked Jin Sheng also about her confidence in Chinese culture. Here is her reply. And we talk about the cultural confidence yeah. these days a lot. Yeah. What should we be confident about? If that is a question I can put to you, and what part of our history do you think is most fascinating to you? I think our Chinese have enough confidence, just wait Culture. culturally, yeah, enough confidence because we don't need to say the 5,000, 6,000, whatever, you know, counting the time. No, before we use a cultural 
much more in the propaganda way to let people know what is existing. But now we don't have to because the whole world is turning ahead, looking China, try to learn, get connected with China. Mm. I think for us, the most powerful is the cultural influence. Naturally, be there. Mm. Our philosophy, our Chinese way to special the way of breathing. Why everything take time in China? Because that's our philosophy. Our t attitude to new to life is different, mm. and also Chinese thinking always around, never square, never diagonal. Everything around, mm. turning around. That's the life of philosophy. Mm. So if you want dealing with China, so that doesn't matter with business, or economic, and cultural, everything you have to be understanding mm. and face the real picture of China. How are you going to face all the difficulties? What is the best remedy? Is time the best way? Mm. Is patience the best way? Mm. Or is just direct yourself to another direction and try something new the best way? I don't know. That's a very good question. Sometimes I'm asking myself, even my husband asks me, what is next? But I said, I don't know. That's a quality, beauty about life. You don't know what's happening. Just waiting for the curtains to open. Mm -hmm. You open your window curtain. Maybe you see a sunshine day. Yeah. Maybe you see a raining day. But doesn't matter. Facing it. Always a new challenge, new chapters. What a pleasure, Jinxing, to have you here Thank on you. our program. Well, that is all the time we have for today. If you want to see more, you can certainly visit our website. Just try to find us, World Inside CGTN, into your search engine or check out our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Sina Weibo. From me, Tian Wei, and everyone on the World Inside team, thanks for watching and tune in again next time for insights across China and around the world. Have a great weekend, everyone.